It is currently 1230 and I'm about to jump into another meeting in 30 minutes So I only have a few minutes to do an intro and of course I'm starting this intro later in the afternoon and not in the morning Last week I didn't end up filming and it kind of broke my streak of wanting to do one vlog a week in this new year But that's okay. Last week was honestly such an intense and crazy week that I honestly like didn't even think about filming Like usually I'm so excited to just pick up my camera and film because it holds me accountable It makes me excited to like go through a work day But yes, but last week I literally could not think about anything else much less filming but yeah, in 30 minutes, I have a pretty big meeting. So as a social media manager, I get to introduce new series and kind of strategize ways to promote our business, our company, <clears throat> and our programming in really fun and interesting ways. And one of one of the ways of doing that is creating social media videos and series and I do everything from strategizing to like um, scripting to filming, editing and like post-production and pre-production and all of that so this is honestly one of the most fun parts of my job is doing that so in 30 minutes I have a pitch meeting where I am pitching to one of our departments about a series that I want to do in collaboration with them because they are the experts and I just want to like hear about them and like film them so that's really exciting but I'm looking kind of nervous I haven't done this in so long. I remember my first pitch meeting. Oh god, I was like sweating. Again, I have so much imposter syndrome talking to like older people, but especially that one, I was in a room of like 10 people and I was the only one from my like from basically from social media like pitching that and it was so scary. I actually had plans later tonight to go to a friend's place and we were gonna hang out we haven't seen each other in a long time as a group and unfortunately those plans got cancelled but that's okay I feel like it all happened for a reason and I kind of need the time tonight anyway to catch up on some freelance as well as some like content creation and editing because I have to um, edit the next podcast episode for A's for Anxious my podcast also do you guys like the new glasses I got some new frames I got this one and then another one which we, you will probably see me like kind of go through I will be like switching between them these are like the everyday ones and then the other ones that I got are like a more um they're a metal frame and they're like more fancy like for going out or just for like doing things it's not an everyday frame because I don't like wearing metal when I'm like going out and about and like sweating and everything so I got these new frames I love them so much and I got them all my frames are from Warby Parker so not sponsored but I have been a Warby Parker loyal fan for five years and I absolutely love their glasses <laughs> So today is just a chill day in the life video with me at home. I'm working from home today. I was debating whether or not to go to a cafe, but I realized that I've been spending a little bit too much money on these cafe visits, um, like going out and every time I go to a cafe, I spend like 11 to $15 because I'm getting usually a pastry and a coffee when I could just have really good coffee at home. Like I have amazing coffee here, I'm not complaining. And a pastry, not really needed. I shouldn't be eating pastries every day anyway so I decided to stay home today which has honestly taken a dip in my productivity again I'm trying to vlog today to keep me motivated to like work even if it's for the camera sometimes you just need that extra motivation but I sort of wish I had plans later tonight or like in the afternoon I don't know something to like look forward to because I just feel like again I'm kind of like in my little bubble again and it's sunny outside so I wanted to like go outside might take a walk later for my mental health I don't know yet I kind of want to stay inside but then I kind of want to go outside it's like a conundrum and in these moments I'm always just very I'm very grateful and privileged to be able to work from home most days but tomorrow I'm going into the office so I'm really <laughs> gearing myself up for that because I don't vlog when I'm in the office I just don't do it because I'm not gonna talk to my camera when there's like people right next to me but I have such a hard time going into the office it is the number one thing like in the morning when I wake up I just can't get myself out I'm supposed to be in the office by 9 a.m. but I end up going 9 30 10 like I'll work from home starting at 9 but I, I, like just to get myself to the office I don't know what is wrong not nothing's wrong with me but like I feel like coming from like COVID years and just not going to classes I'm so used to working from home and I find that I am most productive at home so it actually is harder for me to go to office which a lot of my older colleagues don't understand and I totally get that and that's fine but I do appreciate my you know supervisors really being understanding of my circumstance and you know making it more accessible for me you know to come in when oh my god my plan my plan is dying 
to come in when I can and not to stress too much about the start times or like when I come in just because yeah it, it is really hard it sounds it's really not a big issue I feel like I'm being over dramatic but truly coming from COVID and pandemic years I'm just not used to it but anyways, I have a few things left here to finish before prepping for the meeting. I'm gonna um, prepare like what I'm gonna say and everything. Oh god, I'm so nervous. I'm gonna prepare what I'm gonna say and everything and then I'll check back in possibly after this meeting. And again, I'm excited but at the same time also pretty scared because I don't want there to be like... Not that I don't want there to be questions but my am I confident in my ability to answer them? I don't really know, you know, some people can be just super like you take the reins sort of thing and then other people can be like questioning everything and trying to micromanage everything and I work better with people who let me kind of take the reins and trust me to, you know, create a good product rather than someone who's micromanaging me and making sure that I'm doing everything to their liking and so I don't know which relation working relationship this will be and that's pretty much what I'm nervous about but I'll check in after the meeting So this weekend I went to a restaurant and had Thai tea and I've always loved Thai tea but I never knew you could make it at home with like a powder mix kind of like how matcha is made but I just made some homemade Thai tea. It doesn't taste as good as it does in restaurants like actual restaurants that have Thai tea but honestly it hits the spot right now because whew, after that meeting I need, I need a little treat. I need a little special treat. So as you guys know, I just finished my pitch meeting, um, super scary and I'm after the meeting I just kind of like, oh my god, I'm so glad it's over. Not because I like don't want to meet with these people and I don't want to do it, it's just such an anxiety inducing process for me to like get in the mindset of thinking that like I am an expert in my field, I know what I'm doing, I'm good at my job. It's hard to fight that notion and then go into a meeting with someone who is an expert in their field and you pitching this idea that you want to like work with them right so it's always kind of like a situation of like I gotta assert my dominance and I gotta assert my expertise in this field but I'm someone who like is a very quiet not a quiet person but a quiet like person you know a quiet viewer like I don't like making it known that I do YouTube or I don't often tell people I've always just been a very like shy person about the things that I've done and accomplished and so this isn't any different I bring that into my job where like I'm really shy to tell people like how good I can help them make this come true or how good I am at my job and all of that even if I know it to be true I still like won't go out of my way to talk about it so all in all that meeting went as well as it could have I think there are a lot of ways that I wish it went a little differently like I feel like I wish we had more time that was the main thing like we didn't get to all the questions we even had to stay after there's just a lot of things where I look back and I'm like okay wish I could have done this differently but all is said and done at the end of the day and the meeting went well I wrote just wrote a thank you email a follow-up email with all like next steps and everything it just helps my head and also I felt like it helped the person who we were like pitching to because it really helped them like understand what they have to do and what we have to do but all in all like it went well they accepted the project like we're Gucci I did want to come on here and talk about another thing that I just wanted to start talking about in my vlogs because I feel like you guys are gonna be seeing a lot more of this in my vlogs as I start like vlogging my life outside of work and everything in the new year but new this new year one of my goals was to get back into some of my hobbies so as a kid I really was just doing a lot I did gymnastics ice skating I played piano like I honestly, I only have my parents to thank for that since they forced me into doing all of these different things to try to find the one thing that like I would potentially be good at. I did soccer, basketball, like everything under the sun, I literally did it. But as I got older, you know, a lot of that came with time and getting older and maybe being forced to do that as a child, but I found out that I am a quitter. Like I am someone who just really like falls out of love with my hobbies really quickly and I end up like totally like quitting them and never getting back to them but this is the year that I invest myself back into my hobbies so one of the things that I actually you know wanted to talk about was one of the things that I'm going to be documenting 
and it is my figure skating journey <laughs> You know, these past years actually living in Minnesota has really helped with kind of reconnecting me with um, skating because in New York, I learned figure skating when I was a child. I was put in classes. I didn't really do well, but I know the basics. I know how to skate. You know, I know how to do all that. And just it was hard in New York to find anywhere to skate because a lot of those were indoor rinks, right? But here coming to Minnesota, one of the blessings that I've been blessed with is like the cold weather and how there's so many outdoor rinks and people skate on the lakes, right? like it's just such a such a like common thing to see here and it's always packed like there's so many people so yeah i got into it back into it i started skating like recreationally and it has led me to this point where i am interested in exploring more and i want to embrace that and i want to engage with that and engage with my adult self feeling really just you know like connected to my inner child who wanted to be an ice princess and so i mm, I purchased a new pair of skates. These are a new pair of skates that I got. They were actually pretty inexpensive and I got some skate guards. Um, and I purchased these because I will be signing up for my first few sessions of figure skating classes and learning like all the tricks and stuff and all that. And I am just so excited. I have never been more excited for a hobby in so long. I think the last one I was excited for was pole dancing, but I've been doing pole now for over two years so it's not really new anymore and i still love doing it i still do it once a week and it's one of my favorite hobbies because it allows me to be very active but also have fun and strengthen my body and honestly i see skating as the same thing it's something that like i like to say this but i said this to my partner but like i want to spend my adult money on adult things and for me that's investing in stuff that makes me happy and also if it keeps me active that's just a plus so this is all to say to invest in your hobbies don't neglect your hobbies because they're a huge part of your social life of your enriching your life you know their enrichment and for me it took a huge leap before i decided that i should start investing in my hobbies because i thought my life a few years ago, I thought my life was kind of all about work, 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 and there was no room for hobbies. Hobbies were useless. What are you going to do with a hobby? Like, you can't pay your bills and all of that. But really, I, this past year, have begun to embrace what hobbies mean in my life, and that has just been a game changer. So stay on the lookout because I will definitely be filming my progress with figure skating and my classes. And... Honestly, at this point, I have way too many hobbies. I have like way too many hobbies that I'm like spending my money on and I really want to get into pottery. So this is all to say that like you go from having this point where you're an adult and you're like obsessed with work and then you go through this process of like trying to unlearn that and feeling burnt out and then now you're obsessed with like hobbies and I'm at that point. I'm at that point. But anyways, I am going to get back to work, do some cleaning, film some content for Instagram, and then I will hopefully check in with you a little later. I just finished Twisted Lies by Anna Huang and what just happened? So this is the fourth book in the Twisted series by Anna Huang which is a romance series and there are four books in the series. There's Twisted Love, Twisted Games, Twisted Hate, and then the last one Twisted Lies and this is like I believe the biggest book out of the series. They honestly just keep progressively getting bigger and bigger that I'm kind of just like what is even happening? Like why does it need to be bigger? But needless to say this is not my favorite book of the series and this is going to be such an unpopular opinion but i honestly felt like all of the four books were the same exact book just like a different font like truly i feel like the female characters in all like the main characters in all the books it is dual pov so it follows the girl and the guy but i feel like all of the girls in these books were could kind of be different and could kind of be said to have their own motivations but i feel like the guys were like very 
very flat and one-sided and they all were like the same people in every book like we could have just swapped out one guy for all four girls like it just i'm like what but overall i can't critique it too much because i did really enjoy all four books i feel like it just lives up to the hype of being a super steamy book series like a steamy romance which i feel like sometimes when we say things are steamy they like end up being very disappointing or like not as steamy as we want it and i feel like in terms of steaminess this book definitely takes the cake for one of the most steamiest books that i've ever read but anyways thank you so much for following me on my day it was honestly such a simple and chill day today i feel like i didn't really do anything i know i did stuff but like i just feel like i didn't really do anything and unfortunately my plans got canceled for tonight which is why i am feeling like i have nothing to do tonight because i wasn't planning on doing anything but or like anything at home at least i thought i was just gonna go out and hang out with friends so i didn't like you know ha make a list of things i had to do or didn't have plans um of stuff that i needed to do but anyways this entire week is gonna be super busy so i am actually grateful to have the time to like relax and take some time for myself so thanks so much for watching i hope you're having a great day or evening or afternoon and i'll see you in my next video Bye.